Hello and welcome to the Pro Forma Models Capital Budgeting Financial Model Walkthrough. This model was developed to complete capital budgeting and analysis before undertaking a project of investment. The model can handle an analysis up to 10 years and evaluates the project or investment utilizing net present value, internal rate of return, and return on cost. The README tab states the model purpose, highlights common use cases, and provides an overview of functionality, formatting, and all of the unique modules within the model. This tab also provides additional documentation, contact information, and a summary of additional products and services available from Proforma models to support your analysis needs. The Proforma tab contains all of your custom user input assumptions as well as the pre-programmed calculations. The first assumptions section relates to the initial project investment and begins with the project time horizon. The model can handle up to a 10-year analysis period. The initial investment input is the upfront cost of the project. This could be for equipment, facilities, tools, or any other capital assets. The opportunity cost input is for the incremental foregone investment returns you give up by investing in the project being analyzed instead of a marketable security, such as an index. The salvage value is the asset value that can be realized at the end of the investment time horizon. The model is pre-built for the three main depreciation methods, which are straight line, double declining balance, and sum of years. Select your desired depreciation method from the drop-down list to apply the selected calculation. The final inputs are for any tax credits, grants, or additional upfront project investment costs. These inputs can be utilized if they are applicable to your use case. If they are not, please enter zero in each cell. The next assumption section relates to working capital and begins with an input for the upfront working capital required for the project. The next assumption is for the ongoing annual working capital requirement expressed as a percentage of revenue. The final working capital assumption is for the salvage value of working capital. For example, if you believe the working capital will be fully recouped on sale, enter 100% as your assumption. The final assumption section relates to the project cash flow forecast and starts with an input for the year one incremental project revenue expressed in annual dollar terms. Revenue escalator inputs are available for up to 10 years to grow the base revenue annually. In the model walkthrough case, the year one base revenue assumption in cell C25 of $40,000 will grow by 10% in year two to $44,000 then grow by another 10% in year 3 to $48,400, and so forth. The next assumption is for annual variable expenses. The assumption is expressed as a percentage of revenue. This means that if you have incremental project revenue of $10,000 and assume 50% variable expenses, you will have $5,000 of variable expenses per year. The next group of assumptions is for fixed expenses beginning with the year one fixed expenses attributable to the project expressed in annual dollar terms. Similar to the revenue forecast methodology, fixed expense escalator inputs are available for up to 10 years to grow the base fixed expenses annually. Your applicable tax rate is entered next to be contemplated in the pro forma cash flow. The final input is for the discount rate you would like to apply to the project analysis. This is a key input in developing the discounted cash flow and various return metrics, such as net present value. At this point, your assumption inputs are complete and the pro forma cash flow and returns will automatically populate to show your analysis results. The top of the analysis section begins with the investment metrics which includes the internal rate of return, net present value, and return on cost. The next table showcases the upfront initial project investment costs including any tax credits or grants, working capital, opportunity costs, and any other additional cost applicable to your analysis. The pro forma table that concludes the model contains the entire cash flow, depreciation schedule, and working capital forecast. The top of the pro forma tracks the salvage value of equipment and working capital. Please note the salvage values line up with the assumed figures and impact the cash flow at the end of the time horizon. 
The depreciation schedule tracks the opening equipment balance, periodic depreciation, and ending balance of equipment value. The schedule will calculate depreciation based on your selection, with pre-programmed options for straight line, double declining balance, and some of years depreciation methods. The next section calculates the operating cash flow from revenue to net earnings. This section also includes the periodic working capital change as well as the annual net operating cash flow and net cash flow including operating activities and salvage value. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this pro forma models walkthrough and encourage you to visit our website to try the model for yourself.